animations. There's so many different kinds of animations. And the purpose of this video is to just kind of break down the, the major styles. And I have three main categories that I'm going to break them down into. So we'll go ahead and get started. The uh, well, we'll start at the very beginning. So back in 1832, there was a device called the phenakistoscope that had different pictures on it, and when it spun, it it gave the illusion of of movement. Okay, so these are these are some of the the, the very first cartoons that were you know 200 years ago, and it's cool to think about how long it's been around. And this is what's called frame by frame animation. And that's where you have a set of different drawings, pictures rather, and each picture is a little bit different than the last. And when they're in a sequence, it gives the illusion of movement. And so that's an example of frame by frame animation. And you see a lot of this in your traditional style cartoons with, you know, of course, Walt Disney and all the Disney cartoons. Even in video games, a lot of 2D games will have sprites that consist of a series of images. In a sequence, it looks like they're moving. And this is also big in stop motion animation, except instead of drawing the pictures with a, whether it's a mouse or a pencil, you're actually using pictures. So you're taking pictures of physical items and moving the physical items slightly between each picture and when you flip through the pictures it gives that same sense of movement and so you see this in South Park with construction paper and those Lego brick films that they make where they're using Lego characters and of course the classic King Kong movie there's another style that, that that's pretty interesting that's called pixelation and this is where you take real video footage and then you draw on top of that footage to, so basically, you're taking a, a video and turning it back into a cartoon, and that's called pixelation. And you see that with things like the, the music video Take On Me. And, okay, so that's frame by frame. The next style is called tweening. Okay, and this is where you're not drawing the individual frames, but you're setting different points. Okay, so you see I have a, a, a red circle going left and right here. So I set two points, and... I, I, I set the program to just go in between the, the two points. And, and that's where the, the term tweening comes from. It's, it's going in between the two points. And a good way to learn this is that there's a program called Stick Figure Master that you can play. It's, it's free online. And then if you really want to get into it, there's, the, of course, the program Blender where you can make some really cool 3D animations. Okay, which brings me to CGI which CGI is a great example of this tweening style of animation. Um, now, you can have a full-on 3D environment, which would be CGI, but if you take a 3D animation and put it on top of video footage, then it's, it's not technically CGI. In that case, it's VFX, okay, visual effects. And you can think of something like Roger Rabbit, who framed Roger Rabbit, the movie. And so there's other kinds of animation, like vector animation, where it's a lot smoother, because you're using that tweening style except on 2D cartoons. And so something like Family Guy would be an example of vector animation. And that's why it looked so smooth. And of course motion graphics. Um, you, 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 in a, lo a lot of cases you're animating logos and animating text. And it all looks very smooth. So uh, advertisers are big on motion graphics. All right, another style of animation, and this is an interesting one, and I, I think we're going to see more and more on this as we go on. So programmed animation is where you're actually using code to, to animate something. So you see here I have a fish that I programmed using the Scratch coding language to create, sort of like animating with with words so you're, you're giving the computer instructions and then the computers animating the the particular items so that fish would be an example of something that i coded um and you can do this in 3d as well you can see at the top there i got uh, alice 3d where i, I programmed a, a simple 3d model to move around but there's also a gray area where you can have animations made in a traditional program like blender and then you incorporate it in your application 
So technically, it's a programmed animation because it's being called on by code, but the animation itself is being made in a traditional style. They're actually using artificial intelligence to create video footage that, that looks, looks very real, but is in fact a, an illusion. And so I, I, th I think this is going to be a really interesting um, uh, uh, concept in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.